because of the political situation, he chose a unique path to spread his knowledge, and that is dua. He used dua to spread his knowledge. And brothers and sisters, if you read dua Abu Hamza Thumali, look at the knowledge in that dua. The knowledge in this dua. When he turns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about how we can improve our lives, how can we become better people? Because that's what the Imams want us to do, Salamullah alayhim. Now, some people would say it's difficult. You know, I understand what you're talking about. This submission yesterday, you were saying we should submit, we should believe. I understand. But to implement it is not easy. We say that practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. You need three things or four things. First, the recognition of the need to change and improve. You need to realize, we need to realize that we are not perfect. We have to improve. If we don't realize this, if someone says, I am perfect, alhamdulillah, I don't think I need anything else. That's what we call, or in medical terms, they say a state of denial. When someone, when patient, a patient is in a state of denial, he's got sugar, high blood sugar level, for example, he says, I'm not wrong, I'm, there's nothing wrong with me. Okay, look at your sugar levels. No, nothing is wrong. Unless you can convince him that there is a problem, he will never take any medication or the steps to get something done. So we need to realize we are imperfect. We need to perfect ourselves. That's one. Two. We need to make a condition, شرط, that I will change. I will change. Make that shart. And there are ways to help us. Attending the majalis helps us. Sitting down with the mu'mineen helps us. Imam al-Sajjad refers to this in dua Abi Hamza al-Thumali. When he talks, he says, أَوْ لَعَلَّكَ لَمْ تَجِدْنِي فِي مَجَالِسِ الْعُلَمَاءِ فَخَذَلْتَنِي أَوْ لَعَلَّكَ رَأَيْتَنِي فِي الْغَافِلِينَ فَمِنْ رَحْمَتِكَ آيَسْتَنِي أَوْ لَعَلَّكَ وَجَدْتَنِي آلِفُ مَجَالِسَ الْبَطَّالِينَ فَبَيْنِي وَبَيْنَهُمْ خَلَّيْتَنِي Oh Allah, maybe you're depriving me of your mercy because of my actions. I don't come and sit with the ulama. I don't attend the majalis. I am in the constant state of absent-mindedness. Ghafla. Wake me up, Ya Allah. In Dua Makarim al-Akhlaq, he says, when you see me in the state of absent-mindedness. Ghafla. Wake me up, Ya Allah. Wake me up. I said in Salat al-Jum'ah the other day, When we're driving on the highway, the minute we see the truck which has the speeding, that records the speed, what do we do? We immediately slam the brakes. Why? Because it's real, it makes us realize that if we continue with the speed, we're going to get a ticket. But if a person is absent-minded, is busy thinking about something else, and doesn't pay attention to the truck, what happens? It gets him. Two, three months later in the mail, he'll receive a present. Why do we sin? One of the reasons we sin is because we are absent-minded. Because we don't realize the greatness of Allah. Allah has this camera 24-7, it's watching us. Because we sometimes sit with people who are battalin, battal, you know, sometimes have you seen some youth get together, or some men even, or women, and what do they talk about? You know, girls, cars, this, 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 you know, ha, 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 oh, 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 you know, all this. That's called battal, battal. Read Dua Abu Hamza, the month of Ramadan is coming up. Some of our ulama used to read Dua Abu Hamza in the qunut of Salatul Layl, Salatul Watr. You know Salatul Watr? In the qunut, they would pick up the book and they would read Dua Abu Hamza Thumali. If you can, that's fine. Read it afterwards. Read Dua Abu Hamza. And reflect, especially on the parts when the Imam Salamullah Alayhi tells us what's going to happen to us when we close our eyes. There he paints you a beautiful picture demonstrating his knowledge of what will happen. He says, وَارْحَمْنِي صَرِيعًا عَلَى الْفِرَاشِ يُقَلِّبُنِي أَوْ تُقَلِّبُنِي أَيْدِ أَحِبَّتِي 
وتفضل علي ممدودا على المغتسل يقلبني صالح جيرتي وتحنن علي محمولا قد تناول الأقرباء أطراف جنازتي وجد علي منقولا قد نزلت بك وحيدا في حفرتي وارحم في ذلك البيت الجديد غربتي He says have mercy on me يا الله when I am lying there dead surrounded by my family have mercy on me ya Allah when I am being washed by my relatives have mercy on me ya Allah as I am being carried by my friends to my grave and have mercy on me when I am put in my grave that new house of mine help me ya Allah which means we will know exactly what is going to happen to us as we leave this dunya. We will feel, we'll see the people washing our bodies. We'll talk to them, but can they listen? No, khalas. they can't hear us anymore. They can't hear us. In some ahadith it is said, the ones who wash the bodies of the mayit, if they can actually see and realize what is happening, they would never wash a body of a mayit again. And then what? This is up to the grave. Then what? He goes back in another part of the dua. Once we're inside, what does he say? He says, Abki, wa ma li la abki, abki li khuruji nafsi, abki li zulmati qabri, abki li dhiqi lahdi. أبكي لسؤال منكر ونكير إياي أبكي لخروجي من قبري عريانا ذليلا حاملا ثقلي على ظهري أنظر مرة عن يميني وأخرى عن شمالي إذ الخلائق في شأن غير شأني لكل امرئ منهم يومئذ شأن يغنيه وجوه يومئذ مسفرة ضاحكة مستبشرة ووجوه يومئذ عليها غبر ترهقها قترة وذلة I cry and why shall I not cry? I cry for the time when my soul leaves my body. I cry when they put me in that grave. I cry for the darkness and how tight the space of that grave is. I cry for when Munkar and Nakir come to question me in the grave. We read in the Talqeen, وَأَشْهَدُ أَنَّ الْمَوْتَ حَقَّ وَمُسَاءَلَةَ الْقَبْرِ حَقَّ مُسَاءَلَةَ الْقَبْرِ Munkar and Nakir will come. They will question each and every one of us. Ya Fulan, so and so, why did you disobey the Imam? So and so, why did you do the ghiba, the backbiting of so and so? Why weren't you genuine? Why did you have to face? Why did you lie? Why did you cheat? Why, 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 why? And then answer. What is the answer? Allahu Akbar. Are we ready? Are we ready? Let us turn to the people, ask them to forgive us. Let us forgive the mu'mineen. And let us pray to the Imam Salaam Allah alayhi, to have mercy on us when we are in that grave, when we are being questioned, when we are resurrected all alone with no helper and no supporter. They will be, inshallah, our helpers and supporters.